Hello Trivia Friends, welcome to another episode of the Ultimate Trivia Quiz. My name is Sean, I hope that you are doing well and that you enjoyed the 100 questions in the previous episode. If you haven't watched it yet, please go check it out. We are back to 50 questions in today's quiz. Keep track of how many questions you can answer correctly and check the end of the video to see which rank you managed to get. The topics for today's quiz are... First up, Science and Technology, Travel and Tourism, Mixed Trivia Questions, Picture Trivia and the 2010s. Let's begin. Which of the following is considered to be the first cryptocurrency? Ethereum, Bitcoin or eCash? eCash What do you call a group of locusts? Is it a shadow, a plague or a quiver? It's called a plague. The Turing test is done on computers to test for viruses, ransomware or artificial intelligence. Artificial Intelligence In the acronym LASER, what does the R stand for? Radiation, Refraction or Resonance? It stands for Radiation. Which of the following will you add to vinegar to create a homemade volcano, sugar, baking soda or gunpowder? The correct answer is baking soda. Which is the most abundant protein in the human body? Biotin, glycine or collagen? And the answer is collagen. Which of the following is a type of music file? JPEG, PDF or MP3? An MP3 file. On a film crew, who would maintain and place the recording equipment? The gaffer, boom operator or the key grip? The boom operator. In which part of the Earth's atmosphere do we live? The troposphere, chromosphere or the stratosphere? We live in the troposphere. Which is a scientist that deals with the determination of dates and the sequence of events? A volcanologist, chronologist or morphologist? Correct answer is chronologist. In which country can you attend the Chelsea Flower Show? Is it in England, Australia or Hong Kong? It is in England. In which ocean will you find the Great Barrier Reef? In the Pacific, Indian or Atlantic Ocean? It's in the Pacific. What name is given to the brass bands present at Oktoberfest celebrations? Calypso, Oompa or Flugel bands? They are called Oompa bands. What is the official currency of Indonesia? Is it the Taka, Dinar or the Rupiah? It is the Rupiah. Which of the following is not one of the seven wonders of the ancient world? The Great Wall of China, Temple of Artemis or the Colossus of Rhodes? The Great Wall of China. Niagara Falls is comprised of how many separate waterfalls? Two, three or four? Three. 
three waterfalls. In which Italian town can you visit the Ferrari production factory in Ferrara, Maranello or Bologna? The correct answer is Maranello. Which civilization built the Machu Picchu estate, Nazca, Aztec or Inca? The Incans. Incans. What type of building is the Taj Mahal? Is it a temple, a mausoleum or a necropolis? It is a mausoleum. Mausoleum. The Angkor Wat was built as a temple for which religion, Hinduism, Islam or Taoism? It is a Hindu temple. Who was the leader of the Merry Men of Sherwood Forest, King Arthur, William Tell or Robin Hood? The correct answer is Robin Hood. In the legend, who gifted a wooden horse to the Trojans, Sparta, Greece or Persia? It was the Greeks. Which country has hosted the Summer Olympics four times, Greece, USA or France? The United States of America. Who is the founder of the World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab, Antonio Gutierrez or AJ Bunga? Klaus Schwab. Which word prefer, refers to a person's manner of walking, halter, equilibrium or gait? The correct answer is gait. Which sauce made with flour, butter and milk is used in traditional lasagna, bechamel, hollandaise or velout? Bechamel. Which of the following is a Turkish coffee pot, a chesve, a chupa or a jaloup? The answer is chesve. What is the bride toss to be caught at a wedding, a garter, bouquet or veil? A bouquet. Which is an ancient measure of length about as long as your forearm, a span, a furlong or a cubit? And the answer is cubit. Which Latin phrase is often translated as seize the day, ad nauseum, vini, vidi, vici or carpe diem? Carpe diem. Time for the bonus question. When expressing time, what does the abbreviation GMT stand for? If you know the answer, share your answer in the comments. And if you are enjoying today's quiz, please leave a like and consider subscribing. It really helps. Now back to the quiz. Which country is this? France. What apparatus or tool is this? It is a car jack. What do you call this? It is an LNB. What TV show is this? Frasier. 
What type of vegetable is this? It is an artichoke. What are these called? Shackles. What type of car is this? A Chevrolet Corvette. What tool is this? A potato masher. What type of couch is this? It is a Chesterfield. And what type of cat is this? Siamese. Which singer features on the Lady Gaga song Telephone released in 2010? Beyonce, Taylor Sh Swift or Selena Gomez? Beyonce. Which country ended its one-child policy in 2016? Japan, China or India? China. Joseph Ratzinger resigned as the Pope in 2013. What was his Pope name? John Paul II, Benedict XVI or Pope Francis? He was Pope Benedict XVI. Taking office in 2010, who was Australia's first female Prime Minister? Jenny Shipley, Kim Campbell or Julia Gillard? Julia Gillard. His last victory coming in 2017, how many times did Roger Federer win the Wimbledon male singles? Seven, eight or nine times? He won it eight times. Passing away in 2010, Hugo Chavez was president of which South American country? Venezuela, Colombia or Mexico? The correct answer is Venezuela. In which country did the Arab Spring start in 2010? Tunisia, Egypt or Jordan? It started in Tunisia. Launched in 2011, what was Netflix's DVD rental mail service called? Red Ribbon, Kadabra or Quickster? It was called Quickster. Leonardo DiCaprio played the lead in which of these movies? Inception, Skyfall or The Martian? Inception In 2014, Malaysia Airlines flight MH17 was shot down flying over which country? Ukraine, China or Turkey? The answer is Ukraine. We have reached the end of today's trivia quiz. How many questions did you answer correctly? Take a look which rank you managed to get and share it in the comments below. Also, don't forget to answer the bonus question. When expressing time, what does the abbreviation GMT stand for? If you know the answer, share it in the comments. And if you enjoyed this quiz, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching.